Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am trying a DD cream. I had no clue that DD creams existed and I forget how I even found out that this one existed. So anyways, I am getting ready to do, or you guys are gonna embark with me on an all day wear test using this. So as of right now, um, as far as a primer, even though this says you can use it for a primer, I went ahead and used the Scandinavia Oil Control primer spray so I did put that on first and then I added the DD cream followed it up with some powder and basically finished my makeup like normal so we're gonna see how this DD cream lasts throughout the day so I am trying it um, just as a foundation I did not put a foundation over the top and it says you can do that also I just wanted to try it on its own as a foundation. So we're gonna see how this baby works. So this allegedly works as a primer. It works as a foundation. Um, and you can, it has some SPF in it to help keep your skin protected from the rays of the sun. So we're gonna see how this does. As far as putting additional makeup on top of it, I really saw no different difference than using any other kind of foundation so everything went on kind of nice it blended well it sat nice on the face so as far as my first impressions of the DD cream I don't see it any different than any other foundation the interesting thing that I did find about this is it really only has one color so I was kind of concerned about that how is that going to work on my really light skin or I'm really curious for any of my darker skin friends, how does this DD cream work on you? Because allegedly it's just supposed to blend in with your natural skin tones and then kind of blur out any, any defects or any issues. I would say this is a medium coverage. It's not a full coverage, although um, I, I think it's pretty blend blendable. How about buildable? So it did do a great job there but I really would like to hear some other feedback because I'm not seeing this DD cream much out on the market and or I just don't watch the right YouTubers that have highlighted this yet. So anyways, if you've got any comments, suggestions, thoughts, etc., please put those below. And now we're gonna get ready to go on the DD cream all day wear test together. Okay, so I have sprayed my face with the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. This is oil control. And this is the DD cream from Derma Doctor. So I've heard of BB creams and CC creams. So when I saw a DD cream, I said, ooh, I need to try this. So we're gonna do an all day wear test using this. Um, the dermatologically defining BB cream I guess has um, a, a SPF of 30 in it, which may make it the DD cream. It says our dermatolo our dermatolo I can't say that word today. I don't know why. But the derma doctors, how about that? Dream cream defines, delays, defends, delights, and delivers. A whole lot of D words going on there. This multifunctional corrective anti-aging beauty balm helps support a healthy complexion. And who doesn't love a healthy complexion? So the directions are apply to clean, dry skin, use alone, as a foundation, primer, or follow, or follow with cosmetics as desired. Full, for, full product information see carton. So, I've used this a couple times and I really liked it and they only have one color because it's supposed to kind of go with your skin tone so that's what we're gonna do today because I tried to see if they had like multiple colors no so I'm gonna take my Sigma flat kabuki brush I squirt a little on and you can see how my skin has you know is not beautiful and perfect so basically today I'm going to use this DD cream as a foundation and then we're going to see how it wears all day as a foundation. I wonder what an EE cream is going to be or an FF. I mean they just keep going. And did I miss out on an AA cream? 
I don't remember there being an AA cream. They just went straight to BB and CC and then mixed it up with DD. What's next in the world of cosmetics? Da, da, da. Okay, so my first go round, you can still kind of see I've got some spotting. I still look like a little bit of a leopard. So it's not a full coverage by any stretch of the imagination, probably more towards a medium coverage. And what I'm gonna do now is just kind of let it dry. It's a little tacky. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on my makeup as normal. And then at the end of the day, I'm gonna show you what it looked like after I have um, a full day of moving around, etc. So let's wish Dee Dee some luck. Talk to you soon. All right, so it's end of day. It's been about eight hours and I am checking in. So let's see how did this DD cream do. The DD cream did probably better than I thought. So again, since you can use this as a primer or alone, that was kind of intriguing to me. I, I don't think it did a bad job considering you can use it as a primer. I don't know, I guess I use, I think about primers or something to go under your foundation as something totally different than a DD cream, a BB, CC, EFG, HIJK, LMNOP. But, so let's talk about what has happened today. So I do, here comes the old fashioned zoom lens. Um, I do have some breaking up around my nose area and my chin. It's more noticeable on my nose. You guys can kind of see that redness coming through and it's really kind of cakey. I did not wear glasses today. Um, I have rubbed my eyes a ton because as you can tell, they're still kind of watery. Uh, I think it's ragweed season. I don't know. Dallas has the most crazy weird stuff that I'm allergic to that so my allergies are always on high alert but I've really rubbed the hell out of that eye and you can kind of see the tears trailing down my face again I'm really shocked at how I don't know I'm just kind of maybe freaked out about this DD cream overall it does look like it's broke up a little bit on my forehead so I would say that this is no better or worse than some foundations out there. It still kind of pulls apart on my normal spots, like I said, as far as, um, you know, my T-zone. So for oily women, just know that that may come apart for you. If anyone has used this and has dry skin, I'm really curious to see, did yours pull apart at all by end of day or did it hold? Overall though, I really am shocked. It, it did far more than I thought it would. I think as far as my skin match, considering there's only one color, it did kind of match my skin. I'm just kind of bummed about the cakiness around the nose, but maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure how I could get around that because actually every kind of foundation for the most part does something breaking away on my nose. This one's just more noticeable. But if you've used this DD cream, let me know. I think tomorrow I'm going to mix using the DD cream as a base and I'm going to go ahead and put the milk foundation over the top. I'm really curious about how that will work because if you guys watched my video on the milk foundation, that was like a crazy, crazy experience. So now I'm going to mix these two using this as a primer and the milk foundation just on its own and see what happens. Wish me luck, ladies and gents. So we'll talk soon.